Hi, I'm Joseph from Intelligent UAS. We've got our pre-production Inspire One here today. A lot of you have uh, questions about different things about our helicopter. We're going to go over the radio functions today. Um, now realize this is a pre-production unit, so some of these things may change, but it's a good base to start with to figure out exactly where things are going to be on the radio. So without further ado, I'll start out. We have obviously two antennas, or 2.4 gigahertz. This is going to control the helicopter and the video. Um, we've got a mobile device holder here. This will allow us to uh, click in our mobile device holder so we can hold our iPad in front of the antennas. We have control sticks. This is obviously the same on any of the other helicopters that we sell, the Phantom 2, the Vision Plus, or the larger helicopters. We have a return to home switch, which is here. We just click and this will bring the helicopter back to us. We have a transformation switch will allow us to flip up the legs and flip the legs down. So what this does is it gets the legs and the props out of the view of the camera. Um, battery LED connector. This basically on the bottom here shows us how much battery power is left in the radio. It will also give us an indicator to tell us how much battery is left in or the connection between the helicopter and the radio is good. Red will be bad and green will be good. Now that we've uh, seen the controls on the front of the radio, let's take a look at the back. So we have the camera, di this is the camera dial setting. Um, below this, we have the playback button, which this is going to allow us to look at our gallery on the iPad, so we can look at the videos that we've recorded already. The next button below this is going to be the shutter button. This will ask to snap pictures while we're in flight. Obviously, we go to the next side of the radio. We've all seen this switch before. Let me lift the antenna up so it's easier to see. It's the uh, GPS attitude and manual switch. So we can control the three flight modes of the helicopter. This is something anyone who's flown over a helicopter before should be very familiar with. We have the gimbal dial. Now, this is going to allow us to tilt our, the camera forward and backward, um, similar to what you would see on a Phantom or on an H3 3D. Then we have the record button, which allows us to record in flight. And then we have these two back buttons in the back. Now these are programmable buttons. You can program to do different features. What we've programmed them to do for our helicopter is the left button will allow us to do three gimbal modes that you're familiar with, H free, H trace, and reset. The other button we've allowed it to, we've set it up to switch back and forth from our camera view to the uh, Google Maps view, so we can see where our helicopter actually is in real time. Another really nice feature of that is, while you're flying the helicopter, it draws the path that you've flown for you. So you, if you ever get lost, you can very easily just click over, look at the map, and see exactly where you are in real time. Now that we've seen the front and the back of the radio, let's take a look at the ports um, for the connections. Starting on the right side, we have an HDMI port, obviously for an external screen. We have a micro USB connection. This is going to be to plug it in and do firmware updates to the radio. We have a CAN bus cable, which looks like it's going to be for expanded features later that we're not familiar with. We have a USB. This is going to be able to plug in your Android or your uh, Apple device for the tablet that you choose to, to use. Now on the side of the radio, we have a little uh, rubber, it pops out. This is a connection port to charge the radio. So the batteries are contained in the radio. This port plugs into the same charger that you use to charge the battery that's in the helicopter. So you can charge the radio and the battery helicopter at the same time. This has been the Inspire One controller uh, explanation. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If you would like, you can come in and get a uh, free demonstration of the Inspire One while we have it, or take a look at it and we can explain more features for you. As we learn more of these features, we will uh, do additional videos. So subscribe and like as well. Thank you very much.